What's up guys, my name is Jeff, otherwise known as Evans on this channel, I'm here today to bring you a video. Uh, that was really weird. I felt weird saying that. Um, I don't know why I decided to do the intro this time, but I did. And yeah, that's just kind of how it is. Um, so first off, I want to start off by saying Happy Holidays. You know, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Hanukkah. I'm pretty sure I'm off for Hanukkah. I don't really know exactly when Hanukkah is, to be honest. I know it's multiple days, though. It lasts for like 12 days or something. Maybe not 12 days. I don't, I don't know. I'm just rambling on here. Um, so yeah, happy holidays. You know, I feel obligated to say that, you know, whatever religion you're affiliated with, you know, be it Christian, Muslim, uh, Jewish, you know, Buddhist, whatever the fuck you are, you know, whatever the fuck you classify yourself as. Um, happy holidays. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, uh, or wonderful, hope you have a wonderful season. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just completely rambling on here, I really have no, uh, yeah, I'm getting off topic, I'm just completely off topic here, so, uh, back to the point. Well, actually, that is the point. <laughs> uh, holidays, uh, I want to know how you guys' holidays are, you know, I kind of want to, I want to gauge the, uh, the whole holiday season feel. Um, I felt like making a video because, I mean, it is Christmas Day, it is December 25th. It doesn't feel like Christmas, though. Um, it, it feels like another day. <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to go about this day the exact same. I, I did spend a little bit more time with the family than usual, both last night and a little bit today. I'll be going over to my dad's house for uh, Christmas. But uh, it doesn't feel like Christmas. It really doesn't. Like, the seasons... I feel like Halloween, like all the holidays, don't feel the same anymore necessarily because I've gotten, I've grown to be so much older, uh, both, you know, physically, like legitimately older and maturely, maturely, <laughs> much, you know, you know, you get what I'm saying. I, I don't need to fucking explain myself. And I got a nasty ass jump hitch out there. I, I don't even know like that. That's why I use this gameplay right there. Like just that jump hitch shot was so beautiful in the pit. Um, yeah, that, that's why I chose the gameplay. Um, what else? Okay, so I'm getting off topic here. I get so off topic so easily. Um, so yeah, uh, the holiday seasons, they don't feel the same. Holidays don't feel the same to me anymore as they used to. Uh, I don't know why. I just, I'm sure everybody, I know everybody says that, you know. Everybody sort of feels that way too. And that's good that I'm not the only one. I'm just curious as to why that happens. Um... Because, I mean, it doesn't necessarily get old, you know? Like, I've been doing, like, the past, you know, couple years ago, I still felt like it was Christmas. Like, 16, that's when it all started to, like, fall off for me. I don't know. Um, but even my parents and my family still have the holiday vibes, you know? And they're adults. They're, like, in their 40s and 50s. And it's like, oh. Like, I don't understand how the spirit of Christmas. Maybe maybe it's because they're actually giving a decent amount of presents to their children, and maybe they actually have a family foundation. I don't know. Um, I also watched the interview. Um, yeah, that movie had a lot of controversy. I don't really know where to begin with that. That movie, I, I watched it online, because, I mean, it's free, so why the hell not? Um, so... You know, you can't really hate a James Franco and Seth Rogen film. I mean, Pineapple Express was a an amazing film. Uh, you know, it's another witty comedy. It's another comedy. Like, it felt like the same thing. It felt like the same kind of like a regurgitation feel of Pineapple Express, if that makes sense. But the thing is, is I, what I really liked was the situation. Like, the whole... Because, I mean, that's the reason why most people are watching it anyways. I think they really went outside the box to kind of make a political difference, you know, like a, it's an actual thing that's going on that they're actually making fun of, like, North Korea is, like, you know, the dictatorship of North Korea is an awful thing, and to make it into a, a light-hearted comedy, not really light-hearted, it's pretty, it's a pretty fucked up film, um, <laughs> in the best way possible, uh, it's, uh, pushing the boundaries for film, and I think that's really needed in a, in a time where, film ideas are becoming so short, you know, like, they're becoming so, um, they're lacking now, like, before, like, you gotta think about it, like, I, I've been thinking about that, that's a topic I've wanted to, uh, kind of get deeper into and delve into a little bit more, is that, if you think about it, like, for music, video games, films, um, it's all kind of, like, uh, regurgitating itself, kind of, like, uh, repeating itself like you see these sequels of films and sequels of video games 
and you don't see very many original ideas, uh, both with film, you know, with all these different medias. Um, and it's good to see a change of pace where it's an actual orig somewhat original idea, you know, where <laughs> they have to bring up the... Of course, it's a, a very... I can't think of it. Uh, irrational idea, you know, like, oh my god, you're, like it's such a serious topic, assassinating a dictator of a of a major crisis, you know, major country in crisis. Um, but yeah, I feel like things like that outside of the box, pushing the boundaries, are really going to be motivational for all these other filmmakers and directors and writers and things like that. And I hope that films, you know, the media, films, and video games, uh, music, and all that can kind of learn from what James Franco and Seth Rogen and the, you know, I didn't really look and see wh who exactly directed the film and the writers and things like that, the producers, um, but to whoever, the whole crew who made that film, uh, just an amazing job from everything, like from, you know, the actors, the directors, the producers, it's, it's a really good film. Um, and I wish and I hope that filmmakers can actually push the boundaries a little bit more, push the envelope and make films like that more of a possibility to bring back some of the originality um, of film and of media. You know, I hope everybody can take a little bit of time in understanding that it takes a lot of balls to make a film like that, and they did it um, even after the threats. The threats were uh, open threats, so like of course they were. Um, there was no evidence backing up that they would go through these threats. I don't think the threats will be true. I don't think they're going to do whatever the hell they said they were going to do. I can't remember exactly what they threat, like another 9-11 attack sort of attack. Um, and I think they really stood up for themselves and really showed their balls, you know, like really grew some, grew some balls and uh, finally did that. And I think that's a really good thing. Um, that's something to be somewhat proud of, you know. I mean, it is a film, but it is... Uh, respectable, I guess you could say. Um, looks like I've rambled on. My video's kind of cut out here. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to supply in the background of this commentary now that the gameplay's over, but um, yeah, I guess that's my, that's my time. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Jeff. I'm out. See ya.